Hello everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am making a response video to Dan Brown's video titled Trans Etiquette and Gay Dating, which featured Ariel Scarcella. So, this video admittedly made me very uncomfortable. There were some things that were said that I just didn't think were necessarily put in a way that was respectful of the trans community. That being said, I am appreciative of Dan Brown for starting this conversation because the topics themselves are very important topics to talk about. The one thing that I kind of wonder is how come you didn't pick a trans YouTuber or at least like a good trans ally YouTuber to collaborate with you on this because it could have had a completely different tone and different conversation had you gone that route. Anyway, so the first issue of the video was whether or not people introducing their name and pronouns is taking political correctness to the extreme. Personally, I am all for being politically correct. If it makes people feel more comfortable being around me, I am all for changing something that I say or something that I do. People wanting to state their like their pronouns right out of the get-go is not a bad thing at all. I think that it can save a lot of awkwardness later on in a conversation when people are misgendered because not everybody looks their gender, which is like, ugh, I don't like saying that. Society does have these preconceived ideas of what a woman looks like, what a man looks like, and doesn't really have any idea at all what uh, non-binary people look like. We stereotype people based on these preconceived ideas, and that can lead to people being misgendered, which can make people feel very uncomfortable, can bring up some like dysphoria, can cause like anxiety, depression, like people are seriously affected by pronouns. I also don't feel like there was the point made that it can take a lot of courage to state your pronouns to people because it's not something that we're used to hearing people say. We don't often hear people say, hi my name is Sarah, I use they then their pronouns or she her her pronouns. Like we don't hear that often enough that it's become like a regular practice and I wish it would be more of a regular practice because and when people do need to state their pronouns it feels awkward and uncomfortable because it's new and a change and people are sometimes slow to change. And the second part of the video talked about how the LGBTQA plus community faces more wrath for not wanting to date trans people than the straight community. I think that it would be reasonable for the trans community to expect that the LGBTQA plus community would be more willing to date them because it's their own community and it would be nice if their own community would support them more than they do, but they don't really. We know that people's attractions do have sort of their own direction and not everybody's going to be attracted to a trans person and that itself is fine. What to me isn't fine and is transphobic is when people completely be like, there's no way I'm dating a trans person, like full stop, period, just based on the fact that they are trans, not just because like, oh, they're actually kind of a crappy person and they don't make me feel good about myself. Like those are valid reasons to not want to date a trans person, but being like, I don't want to tran date a trans person because they're trans is transphobic. Uh, it's just not, there's no reason for it. All people are so much more than their bodies. People are smart. People are funny. People are people have like great personalities. Like there's so much more to people than just like the vessel that their being comes in. That's my opinion on that. I also didn't really like particularly how Ariel put that trans women are not the same type of women as other women are. I found that to be really disrespectful because Trans women are women. You can't try and say that a woman is not a woman. Like, I don't understand that. Why would you do that? That's not nice. Like, I get when you were saying that, like, you meant, like, people's bodies, but then again, you're just reducing people to bodies again, and people are more than their bodies. We just went over this. So, those are my thoughts about 
the video. Uh, they were looking for responses, so if you're also interested in making a response video, you should totally make one because the more opinions that are out there, the more learning that can happen. So, until next time, toodle noodles, bye!